Sadly for Gwen, it wasn't her wedding to Xander. Ah well. Now that her name's been cleared of murder, it seemed like days of our lives Gwen almost had a chance to get back together with her love, Xander. His brand new marriage to Sarah was on the rocks and it was the perfect time for Gwen to swoop in, comfort him and finally get the wedding of her dreams. More, Galen Gearing marvels at real-life super couple of course, after approximately 30 minutes of wanting a divorce, Sarah ran back to her husband to kiss and make up. It happened so quick, Gwen didn't even have a chance to find out she had an opening. And a big part of that speedy turnaround was Maggie convincing her daughter that she couldn't let Gwen win. That's harsh. So it looks like Gwen's going to be on the single train for a while longer yet, and besides her dream wedding being a no-go, we also don't see her being invited to many ceremonies around town. She's a bit short on friends at the moment, and that mostly includes her own family. In real life, though, Emily O'Brien is another matter. She got to go to a wedding that, if we're being honest, looks far more extravagant than anything Salem could ever cook up. The actress shared photos and video from her cousin's wedding on Instagram and the ceremony, the venue and the food it all looked gorgeous beyond belief. Stunning dresses, sheer tents, plush pillows and carpeting, it's no wonder O'Brien wrote that it was one of the most beautiful weddings I have witnessed. Cheers to my stunning and ever-radiating cousin, Pontia. I'm so elated for you and Rob. O'Brien, who's Persian on her mother's side and speaks the language fluently, then added, Salamati which is about equivalent to saying cheers. As Gwen's portrayer put it, hashtag Persian wedding Sarithi best. And you know what? After seeing this, we believe her. Check it all out below. Check out our photo gallery of daytime's 35 most memorable weddings of all time to see how they compare to the real-life extravaganza O'Brien attended.